All right, boys, today's episode, we got some Epic BFB Coliseum. It's a good episode. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, just want to quick mention the fact that we are only 250 subs away from 70,000 subs. And we're going to be having a good time working our way and just kind of enjoying the grinds. All right, we got some BFB Coliseum. First one is Grizza. Grizza, I'm going to find your mama and be the big Rizza. All right, that was cringe. Let's good luck, have fun. Pinball Quizard. All right, skips for Roadblock. Very late game map. Good luck, have fun, baby. All right, so we're gonna start with double cobra action. Try to accelerate these rounds here. That's what we're looking for. Might burn a spike here. I'm expecting him to go dartling, like passive dartling. That's kind of why I want this. We'll see though. He could go like ninja farm ace. I don't know. All right, got my double wire funds. Didn't really anti saw that round very well, but it's all right. You can do that this round space in a little bit so yeah against a farm player we want to play super super aggro cobra and anti-stall as well as we can and go for oh he's going ng okay this is an interesting one uh that is like the last thing i expect on this map to be honest i'm gonna go straight for a mortar though we want to just get our group popping power up right away so we can uh get these rounds flying by because that's going to benefit us in this matchup then again, I could take this like heavy eco late game. No, I can't go heavy eco. I don't want to feed a balloon trap. Like that sounds like a disaster. So we'll see how this goes. I'm very curious. Like Cobra versus NG is always an interesting matchup. He probably has ninja farm NG, huh? So I just basically have to nerf his farms as hard as I can. That's really our best play. Like balloon adjustment isn't really too viable until it gets super heavily ramped, like round 25. So we'll see. That might be a play. Okay, he's actually going to struggle a lot here. I'm going to toss him a friendly little Sia. Because he's going to leak so much here. And I also need to get up a rapid reload soon. Because I'm actually starting to struggle. We are under defending quite a bit. But at the same time, I'm building up a nice layer against him. So he's struggling. This is fine. I also don't... Like, stalling the rounds isn't the end of the world in this matchup. As much as it is against, like, DFA or something. Or Wiz Farm Ace, especially. Okay. They, he's just sending me nothing, dude. Like, Mr. Four, Mr. 250 Eco Strat over there. I see you, puppy. All right, let's just keep building up the Cobra army. We want to build our Cobra towards the start of the map, too. That's where I want bulk of my defense. Okay. His defense will hold now, so well done. I guess I just start saving up money for round eight, I guess. If he does rush round eight, do I just go for a burn dog? Probably. Uh, yeah, but yeah, we, we can do that. I'm only getting 280. Yeah, I can't even afford a Bernie right now. He's saying destroy, but he's not sending me anything. I can maybe overwhelm with a ton of yellows here. He's about to get a second plantation. He's farming out right, but he has no eco. There's plantation number two. I'm actually going to bloom boost this. One, because he's low on lives, and two, yeah, we just made the boost. Amazing. What? The second part was that he was just low on money. He can force so much defense. I don't know why he's opting against it. I'm also trying to get as much eco as I can right now because, like, if I do that, then I don't have to eco into the balloon trap, which, well, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to eco into the balloon trap, but, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, same. All right, so we're going to send this. Oh, don't tell me that's your balloon trap spot, buddy. That is a horrible balloon trap spot because you have no idea where the balloon trap is going to spawn. You can't control where your balloon trap spawning. Oh, it's such a bad spot. Unless they changed it, but you need to be placing it, like, right over here. That's just a really... Yeah, it's a bad spot. <laughs> Not a 200 IQ play by our boy here, but he's trying his best, right? That's all that matters. All right, let's get... Uh, I guess we can anti-stall that, yeah. Because I don't have signal. I can go for another one. He's not rushing me. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and rush him because I think his balloon trap spot is abysmal. So, oh, he's going to balloon boost camos at me. Okay. This is a yellow stadium rush. No offense. No offense, but like that's just not going to work in the high arenas. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to send him this with a layer over the top. And this should kill or force boost. Either or works. And yeah, he gets a favorable balloon trap spawn. Unlucky, man. He's so lucky. Like it's random placements. I'm 99% sure it's random placement. Well, round 15, we can send him a rush. He might send me a rush as well. All right, let's go for it. So force defense. We don't know his third tower. I assume it's an injury, but I guess it's not a lock. Building a fat layer right here once again. 
and there's the ninja okay that's gonna overwhelm right surely surely this overwhelms okay he just looks dead on my screen but yeah that's what dude gg i guess you gotta all right let's go to sandbox i'll show you guys a quick lesson all right Alrighty, boys welcome to balloons university i'm your host asian sensation we're gonna show you guys where you should place a balloon trap all right so our opponent last game used this as his balloon trap spot now if you look at the range here there's a lot of track here right you see uh, i can hover it give me one sec uh let's get a monkey farmer okay well you see that whole circle the balloon trap could get placed anywhere that has the track showing so his balloon trap could get placed over here 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 all random you want the balloon trap spot in the same spot every time don't you thus um we learned this in um basic balloon camp you want to place it somewhere like right about here because if you place it here your balloon trap is going to keep spawning where that guzzle dings is going all that little foam stuff it's going in a very consistent area so if i send a bunch of zebras here Let's just keep uh, sending. Oh, actually, so, oh my God. Um, but yeah, Blue Trap is spawning in like the same spot every time, right? It's spawning like the same spot every time. That's what you want. Now, if we go back here, let's clear balloons. Go back to Johnny, little Timmy spot. Now we send the same rush here, right? Let's see where this, let's see where the Blue Trap spawns first. It's going to spawn there. That's fine. But now, guess what? I'm going to keep sending. And now we get a lucky spawn. But now let's see what when this one fills up. Okay, now it's just spawning end of the map for some reason. But it's random. Watch. See, now it's spawning on the far right. Like, dude. All right. All right. That was like the most scuffed balloon lesson ever. But you get the point. Good luck. Or uh, GG's. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's go next. All right, folks. All right, I'm trying to do my best eye stab impression. All right, folks. He says folks so Canadian like it's amazing. All right, I can't do that. X unseen. Good luck, buddy. We got the landing of moons here. All right, we've been rocking Cobra this episode. Let's just keep it up. Now, Cobra is not like great, honestly, but it's fun to use. It is fun. All right, let's just build up our Cobra army right off the rip of Rooney. Cobra, Cobra, Cobra army. Probably going against DFA here, I would imagine. Dart Farm Ace, which is a really hard counter to Cobra if played correctly, but it's not easy. Like, only, like, the top 10% of players know how to play against Cobra with Dark Farm Ace. All right, there we go. That's perfect round. 24 seconds. Got my two wired funds. We're golden. Going to keep rushing here. And we're also going to spike right here so I can anti-stall these rounds. Get these rounds flowing. Okay, it's Tack. So it's either Attack Farm Mortar or Wiz Farm Tack. It's going to be one of those, which is fine. Also, I didn't really anti-stall this because I was fixing my mic. So that's a bit unfortunate. But, hey, can't win them all, right? Can't win them all. Okay, let's keep going. Attack Farm Mortar is a pretty solid counter to Cobra, but I mean, you still have a tough late game. And if he does go Attack Farm Mortar, basically, I just take it late. I, I go late game. Bomb Mortar versus Attack Mortar late game. It's It gets interesting. So that's likely going to be what we see. I What do I want to go here? Probably just chill with this. Get my eco up. See, I'm fine playing this like an eco player. At this point, I don't really care about anti song because he has Tack Farm Mortar. Like, I guess if he has Wiz Farm Tack, it's different. But I'm banking on him having Tack Farm Mortar. I think that's what he's going to have. I'm going to get down another uh, Cobra. And we'll space equal a little bit. I can't force defense. The Blade Shooter spots are insanely strong on this map. So, like, even if I were Bloom Adjustmenting, he's just going to be able to get such good farms. Is the issue we run into because of how good Tack is. Like, his Tack solos for so long. All right, let's go for... Uh, do I need a Rapid Reloader? yeah let's just reload that thing right there okay i'm fine if we leak a little bit not at the end of the world i'm just gonna keep space equaling and then uh we'll send him a bunch of stuff around eight hopefully overwhelm his blade shooter but it's unlikely we have to send so much to do that i guess it'd be prefer preferable if he had whiz farm tack because obviously the mortar is just really like tack mortar is just such a hard counter to balloon adjustments Whereas Wiz on its own isn't. It is possible to defend max adjustment with just Wiz. It involves spamming like 20 lightnings, then some dragon's breath on strong, but it's not easy. Not nearly as easy it is as with Tack Mortar. All right, let's see if he reveals his, sec his third tower here. I think it's Mortar, but we'll see. We'll see. Actually, Wiz Farm Tack's more popular than Tack Farm Mortar, so I'm, I'm going to bank on Wiz. 
That's my prediction. He's just going for a farm. Mans don't care. I'm telling you, Blade Shooter OP, bro. The Blade Shooter is the god of freaking moon landing. It's the Neil Armstrong of moon landing, bro. All right. So yeah, he's just able to get these incredible farms, and there's not nothing I can really do about it. Three plants is insane, dude. I right. 580 eco is also pretty good. All right. Here's the moment of truth. Setting it. There is the whiz. Okay, that's really good. It's really good. I like this spot a lot. So now I just plan on getting heavy eco and then starting a balloon adjustment, probably like round 18. But if and I have to delay his BIA as long as I can. I have to delay the BIA for as long as I can. Because once he gets up a BIA, he'll actually be able to handle adjustment pretty well if he gets a BIA. Okay, this is good. This is fine. Now it's back to Operation Anti-Stall, I think. Then again, dude, like I said, I don't hate taking this lead. I really don't. Okay, this will be a pretty good rush. Force a lot of defense here. I, I just want to slow down his farms as much as I'm able. Is this a rush right here? Oh god, this just boost. I didn't really think... Okay, he's just going insanely aggressive all of a sudden. Man went zero to hero right there. What the heck? What the heck? Okay, I mean, I can just get up a cluster if I need to. Well, I was out of nowhere, Jimmy. What was that all about, boss man? So he's just farming on. I think I sent him a rush to force defense. So we can... I just want to force at least a lightning. It's going to take a lot to force a lightning here, but... It's really what I'm looking to do. So we'll just do this. And then one set of you. And let's see if this works. He's actually probably fine here with good targeting. Yeah, this guy knows what he's doing. But he doesn't have a BIA yet, which is which is good. Because he sent me, like, the girthiest rush of all time. He's back for more. Like, dude. You're insane, man. You're insane. You're a reckless little lad, huh? Okay, he's getting a few lives on me, but, like, it's fine. He's back for more. He just keeps going. He's throwing, dude. You're throwing. All you had to do is get up a BIA, and you were good. You're throwing. Now your farms suck. <laughs> All right. All you had to do is just get around 15 BIA, and he probably wins this game. But shout out to my mans for rushing us. Appreciate it, brother. I'm getting attrition just to build up a little bit of our lives. We have 840 eco. It's great. Now, he is starting to farm on. I'm just going to adjust him around 20. That's my play. This guy's showing an aggressive play style, so I'm expecting him to send me BFBs around 20 as well. He'll probably send me a, BF or a Moab right now, actually. I bet money sends me a Moab. 3, 2, 1, Moab. Easy reads. Now we just spike it and get up a Blue Nimpok Day. Should be good to go. Make sure that defends. We're good. Perfect. All right. And yeah. So if he tries to go for a big boy farm, like a facility or a BIA, I just instant Bloom just spin him because that's going to force a lot of defense for him to build up. So that's obviously great. Now he's going back for another Moab, it looks like. So I'm just going to go like this. Dude, what are you doing? Camo pinks. Okay, I can just boost here. Camos ain't getting through. I'm fine trading boost. Like, I don't need my boost late, bro. Now, guess what I'm doing? Going for a misdirection. Okay. So we'll get that big boy flown. I'm also going to put these on la all of these guys on last if he sends me a BFB, which he will. This dude is king aggro. So he's probably going to send me BFB. Actually, I have my misdirection here in a second. I'm going to start the balloon adjustment, though. I'm also just going to send space lights to kind of mess up with his uh, targeting. Okay, he is rushing here. We just misdirect that. Uh, the Uno reverse card of right there, baby. Enjoy. And yeah, I hate to break it to you, Unseen, but you're not going to have fun <laughs> defending all these cam... Okay, Maelstrom can't hit camos, but you could try. Um, and yeah, I don't think this is going to go very well for Mr. Unseen here. We'll toss him just a friendly see ya. See what happens. He's going to need to attack this. All right, tack attack, tack attack. Come on, tack micro. Okay. He's got turtle microitis, and I think he's going to go down here with the turtle microitis, unfortunately. Yeah, GG is a victim of turtle microitis. Happens to the best of us. All right. GG, everybody's enjoyed the video. I'm trying to know here. So I'm going to check